when people see my tank, they go, wow, I, I always wanted to do something like that. I always say, do the research first. At some point in, during college, I decided, hey, having a really cool fish tank would be awesome. I just went out and ordered a bunch of gear and fished. I had no idea what I was doing. And it was a freshwater tank, 29 gallons or something like that. And I just failed miserably. And I ended up killing probably 10 or 15 fish <laughs> in the first couple of months. So do your research. I think having fish is, especially a saltwater reef tank, is super rewarding in a lot of ways. The fish that you can get are really, are really cool. You know, they're beautiful, they're, it's art, it's living art. So I have four fish. They have completely different personalities. The four fish are Brendan, JD, Jack, and Regina. Brendan is shy. He was the first fish I got, and I did that on purpose. So the order that you stock the tank is important with fish because the more sort of docile fish need to go in first so that they can feel comfortable. And when more sort of boisterous, aggressive fish come in, um, they're, they're, they feel at home. The you know timid fish feel at home. Um, so Brendan is a fire fish. He's super shy, but really cute. He's white with red tail, cool colors. That's why, you know, the fire fish, that's where it comes in. JD was the next fish I got. He is a clownfish, black and white, uh, misbarred clownfish. Misbarred means that the white stripe around his midsection doesn't actually connect on one side, so he's got kind of a little fingerprint there. He's a jerk. <laughs> I love him to death. He's probably my favorite fish, even though he's just black and white and kind of boring. Everyone else is really colorful, but um, when I put my hand in the tank, he attacks it, which made me worried when I added two more fish that he was going to attack them, but no, he leaves them alone. It's just me. He likes to attack. Uh, my girlfriend likes to say that I didn't raise him right. Regina is the female. We don't know if she's actually female. My, my girlfriend named her, decided she's a, that's a woman. She is a Midas Blenny. Biggest fish in the tank, long, orange, beautiful colors. She can change color. She gets scared or stressed out. She turns sort of model brown, and um, at night she's almost black. She's a really pretty fish, just kind of boisterous and like a puppy, bumping around, forcing everyone out of the way, just kind of, you know, clumsy seeming at times. The fourth fish is probably the prettiest fish in the tank. Um, he's a McCosker's Flasher Rass. His name is Jack. He's the most active fish. He swings around in the water bowls. Really pretty colors. When he flashes his fins, it's, uh, it looks like a painting. You know, if you saw a painting of this type of fish that was rendered exactly how it looks, you, you know, if you didn't know any better, you'd go, no, there's no fish like that. It looks, you know, too, too colorful, too fake. He gets nipped out a little by Regina, the boisterous one, and so his fins can be kind of torn up. So I'm trying to figure out a, a way to keep those two from, from fighting. So it's a little, it's a little uh, community in there. I'm like the, the moderator. I have fish. It's, that's the easiest way to explain that I have fish, but really, you know, the tank itself is the pet. Yeah, there's four fish in there. Um, and that's actually, it's a funny because people who don't keep reef tanks go, four fish, that's not that many in that size tank. You know, it's 55 gallons. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you, you know, when you also have, you know, there's 20 crabs in there, there's 20 snails in there, there's, um, you know, three different types of coral co colonies, so there's several, you know, s distinct animals there. Um, the ro live rock that you get from established tanks has crazy animals living in it. Um, I have starfish and jellyfish and bristle worms that are, you know, 
a foot long that I didn't put in there. They just show up. You know, it's you know, it makes it every day. There's something new happening in there. The corals I have right now are sort of the centerpiece. I, to me, they're they're sort of their whole reason. The frog spawns in the middle of the tank. They're really interesting corals. It's a photosynthetic um, animal, so it creates its own food too from the light. Um, so the lighting is really important in a reef tank because you know a lot of the animals in there are living off that light. really hard it's you know you can do it in ways that are simpler but if you you know if you really start getting into it it's it takes a lot of work and a lot of care and a lot of you know I always say that keeping a reef tank you have to be a biologist a chemist a plumber an electrician a carpenter sometimes just on and on rewarding in so many ways. You know, you look at the water chemistry. I test, you know, five or six different parameters of water chemistry and try to keep it in balance and I know what the fish and the corals like and it, you know, it's just getting it all right. It's, it's so it's so cool. The great thing about having the reef tank is you can always be working on it, doing something, adding livestock. For this tank, um, it's um, almost exactly a year old. It's coming along nicely, but it's definitely not where I want it to be yet. Um, I, you know, I don't have enough coral. I want a lot more coral. I might add one more fish. Just still debating. In my initial stocking plans, I was going to have five, but not with four, it's you know the fish seem like they all have their own spaces and I don't know if I want to add another another one to the mix. If I did, it would be something very small. So the tank's always changing, so we'll see.